What is going on guys? So today I'm going to show you how to add games from your Steam library into collections and then how to see the collections. So first things first, you're going to need Steam open, obviously, um, and then go to the top left hand corner of your screen here. If you hover over library, you will see a collections tab. Like if you go home, you'll probably be brought to a screen that looks like this where you have all your games on the left hand side here and then um, maybe like a, a shelf, which I went over in another video. But if you want to go to the collections tab, we can just see collections right away. And it's much better to operate in here. So I have a testing collection I made, but let's just make a new one for the sake of this video. And we'll make both types. So I'll show you what both do. Um, so we're going to do a basic type. So I'll do basic collection. It actually only lets you do capital letters for these, by the way. I'm not even caps locked. So just keep that in mind, I guess. Um, and I'm going to do the original type. So a collection is a simple way of organizing your library, drag titles onto the collection or right click a title and then add it to the existing collection. Um, yeah, so then this one dynamic, uh, this automatically adds games to your collection. I believe in this one, you have to add things yourself. That's the main difference. So let's do the basic one first. Uh, yes, show collections. Um, so now we'll see basic collection has nothing. You can actually just go from the left hand side and drag games in here. So let's do Elden Ring. Let's actually put Dark Souls. So now Dark Souls is in both collections, which is cool how that works. And then we'll put this one. Now, what's cool to note is that this is actually not a Steam version of this game. I downloaded it another way, let's say. So that's what it'll look like. It won't show you the thumbnail, but for Steam games, it shows you that total time played, um, the amount of time played in the last two weeks, and yeah, all that good stuff like some thumbnails if you hover over it. But yeah, so that's uh, pretty much it. You can sort within the collection as well. Um, last played, size on disc, good old stuff. Um, and you'll see it in the left-hand side here. So if you don't like the way this is shown on the left-hand side here, you can just unselect group by collection and it'll show you all the games again. But you know, you can actually do a bunch of things if you group by collection and then you click um, show only ready to play games. It removes all the ones not installed on your computer, which is interesting. So like, let's say I add Among Us to this collection and then I filter again, we will not see Among Us. But if I unfilter, we see it. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, I think we can also show by recent activity, but that kind of removes the collection view altogether. So as you can see, it's disabled. And yeah, that's pretty much it guys. We can go home and now we'll still see the collection view on the left hand side here. Now we can also add a shelf. We can do, um, oh, sorry, choose a shelf. And then we can show this new collection we've created here on the main screen. And yeah, that's kind of another way to do it. And then we can probably add another shelf, show the other collection. And that is how you add games from your Steam library in a collections. That's, I don't know how many times I said that word, but that is all the functionality I would say you can do with it. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.